Wait, 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 wait. Shh. Do you hear that? Me neither. Let's build this thing. What's up guys? Welcome back to another Giga Geek video. And today I will be building the quietest PC I've ever built using the Fractal Design Pop Mini Silent. I'm super excited to build the case. Yeah, let's begin. So to establish, this is a stock training PC, so I will be using a Quadro T600, but I have a gaming graphics card, I'll just plug in here, so you guys can see how quiet this PC really is with a louder graphics card. All right, starting with the motherboard. Here I chose the MSI Pro B550M VC Wi-Fi. It's an awesome motherboard, really great value too. You get Wi-Fi, you get uh, AM4 support. I'll be using an AMD 5000 series CPU. You'll see that later. Um, and also I, why I chose it, my client wanted to use up to maybe eight monitors. So I made sure to have multiple X16 slots. So if you wanted to put a second T600 in, that'll be perfectly fine. Value-based motherboard, very clean looking, I like the VRM design. But yeah, now let's move on to the CPU. All right, as for the CPU, I chose the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Great CPU, really good value too. I got this one for around 150. I think around six or seven months ago, this is going for around 300, mainly because of the price drop of the new AMD Ryzen 7000 series of CPUs, which, make this, which makes this a really good entry level processor. Six cores, 12 threads, great single threader performance, great for think or swim, but yeah. If you did want to go a little bit more high-end, I would recommend the Ryzen 7 7700X. This is one beast of a processor. This is new AM5 CPU. And to cool that, I would go with the NHC 15. Really big air cooler. But speaking of cooling, let's see what I chose for the Ryzen 5 5600X. I chose the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 in black. This is a quiet based cooler, just like I'm building the system. Super quiet, and the 5600X does have its own cooler, but it really isn't that great. It's really loud, and it doesn't look that great, so I just chose the Proc 2 Black, mainly for its aesthetics and the quietness and the performance it'll provide for the 5600X. Now for the RAM. This is the Gale Orion RGB 32 gigabytes at 3200 megahertz. You might think it's red, but it's really black, so it'll fit in with the aesthetic of, of the PC. But anyways, it's a really good kit. It's actually AMD optimized, a lot of people don't know what that means. Essentially, this RAM has been tested with AMD CPUs and has been optimized to work with them. Not a huge difference, but maybe in some scenarios, it'll provide more stability for my client. Hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. This came out pretty well. It's looking super clean right now. But now let's move on to the star of the show. Ah, the Fractal Design Pop Mini Silent. Can't wait to build in it. It's a very good looking case. All right, so let's talk about some of the main features that this case offers. In the title, silent. It's just really, it's a completely silent case. I still have to test it out, see how really silent it is. But from the reviews I've seen online, this thing is you cannot hear it at all. Um, so in order to achieve the, sil the silentness, there are there is a foam panel on the front, a foam panel on the top, and a foam panel on the, s on the back. They're all different densities. Like this one's a bit softer and the one here is a bit harder. I'm not fully sure, but I'm pretty sure that helps like different frequencies of noise. And I'm sure Fractal Design also took in the frequency of their fans and the, and the case to make it as silent as possible. A as for airflow, a lot of you might be a bit concerned in terms of airflow, but luckily there is a strip on the side, but not only is there a strip, the, the fans are kind of in a pocket between the front of the case and the back of the case. I'll show you through B-roll, let's look at it. But 
with that, it allows the fans to suck in air and then suck in through the pocket. So the, it allows a little bit more airflow. Of course, it's not as much as a mesh front panel, but in this case, you're looking for silence. You're not looking for as much airflow. And with these components that aren't as power consuming and that they don't get as hot, this is a great choice for this build. All right, let's talk about some more features on this case. So not necessarily a feature, but the IO, we have two USBs, we have um, headphone and microphone, and then there's also a USB-C. Unfortunately, this USB-C is an add-on, so if you want to add a USB-C cable, you can always do that. Um, doesn't come with the case. I wish Factor Design added that, but you're getting a lot of value for around, I think, $89, so it's a really good value case, and it's a very good looking case in my opinion. I feel like cases nowadays are going from a more like RGB gamer aesthetic look, and I think a lot of companies are starting to make their cases a bit more modern, a bit more blacked out, a bit more like stealthy, and I like the change. And one more kind of cool thing. Let me just turn it around so you guys can see. Look right here. This little front comes off, it's kind of weird. And what you see here is, let me get this out, a little container, or a lot of other YouTubers call it a little ashtray. I don't know, in here you can store stuff like USB drives, USB cables, SD cards, stuff like that, so they never get lost. I lose my SD cards all the time, so this is a great feature, and I'm sure he will love it just as much. Let's put this back in, there we go. And then right here, it's just a little magnet, boom. Super intuitive, I love the design. Very modern looking case again, and let's see how silent it really is. All right, um, as for power supply, here we have the power spec 650 watt. A lot of you might not know who power spec is. It's just in-house micro center brand. Really good power supply, 80 plus bronze efficiency. If you're going for a more high-end build, like the one with the 7700X and the NHD 15, that kind of build, but that's takes a little, a little bit more power. And if you're using maybe a graphics card for a little bit of gaming, I would definitely step it up to gold or titanium, especially if you're using, using it for stock trading or any productivity because if you're running this all day long, over the years, it can save a, a little bit of money, but with the power sipping computer this is, it really won't make much of a difference. Really good efficiency power supply, really good quality power supply, and I believe it has a pretty good warranty on it too. Five year warranty, great, even better. Last but not least, let's talk about the GPU. In this case, it's a stock trading PC. So if you see my past videos, if you haven't seen them, go check them out. This is the Quadro T600. It's a great card for stock trading, 2D performance, even some light CAD. Great card, great stability. But in terms of sound, it's already pretty quiet because it's only got one fan. So I'm actually gonna plug in a 2060 Super in here just to see how loud or how silent this PC really is. Yeah, so overall, I had a really fun time building this computer. It was actually pretty straightforward, pretty easy, partially because I've also built a lot of stock trading PCs, so I kind of know how to get around them. But overall, it was actually really fun to build, and this Pop Silent case is surprisingly really easy to build in. It's what, I think like $89, great value, really good cable management in the back. Not that it had many cables in the first place, there's like 
two cables. It's not a big deal. Um, other than that, it's a very stealthy looking computer if I say so. I think the RGB RAM adds a little flair to it. And I'll change that to maybe like a white or red or a blue or something just to make it a bit more stealthy. Looks really, really nice in my opinion. I like the black. Yeah, it's really solid also. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that little video. I spent quite a bit of time working on this PC, so if you wouldn't mind, just drop a subscribe down below. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.